Hello and welcome. I'm Bonnie Graves and I'm excited to be here today at the third annual Wine, Waves and Beyond event in the gorgeous beach town of Pismo Beach, California. And what I want to talk about is the wine portion of Wine, Waves and Beyond. And I'm lucky to have with me today Heather Moran, who is representing the San Luis Obispo or SLO Vintners Association. And Heather, let's talk about where we are in California, because a lot of people, when they think California wine, they think only Napa, Sonoma, sure, sure. or maybe they think Santa Barbara, but you're somewhere in between. So tell us a little bit about the geography of where we are. Absolutely. Well, we're definitely a coastal wine region. I mean, what really makes us unique is that coastal influence we get from the beach here, right off of the ocean. Fog comes in every morning, in the evening, goes away, blows out, it makes for a real temperate growing season, very long growing season, kind of Mediterranean, so. I think a lot of people actually don't understand that wine grapes like some moody weather. Fog is the friend, particularly Absolutely. of certain grape varietals. So tell us a little bit about what kinds of grapes really thrive in this sort of moody, coolish climate. Absolutely, well, very well known for Pinot Noir, Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc, also some cool climate Syrah. You get those nice peppers off of that cool climate Syrah. A little bit different than some hotter areas and that's what lends to a great growing region. You can grow so many different varietals in this area we find because of that long growing season. You have the mild temperatures so you're allowed to grow anything from Italian varietals, you can do Bordeaux, you can do Burgundies. I mean it's really up to you what you can grow out here and we see a lot of our winemakers and our are people in our wine region that are trying new things with different wines. So they're definitely experimenting and pushing the envelope, I, I'd see, with uh, a yeah. lot of the wines here. Well, you know, I've worked in the wine business a long time as a sommelier, and I think um, this is what I would consider almost like the great undiscovered or almost like the next big thing, the uh, Pismo area in San Luis Obispo County. Oh, I think absolutely. a lot of people, they just kind of, you know, uh, just to the north, we have Paso Robles, which a lot of people have heard of, great cabs, great Syrahs, those Rome varietals. Head a little bit further south, and we pick up San Maria, uh, Santa Rita Hills, Santa Barbara, San Inez, some of those more southerly regions, but you guys kind of sit right in the middle. So tell us about San Luis Obispo County a little bit, and, and for visitors sure. who may not be familiar with the area, um, we know there's great wine here, but what might really make people want to, you know, jump in their car and, and come check out this part of California? Absolutely. Well, you know, we have 30 member wineries in the Slow Vintners, and what makes us really unique and special is the people. I mean, we have some really artisan winemakers that are handcrafting some amazing wines, and what's really interesting is most of our members are small productions, so anywhere between 1,500, 2,000 cases. I mean, we definitely have some larger people who are making a lot of wines on a big production base, but uh, for the most part, a lot of our small vintners, our small um, small groups of artisans are making some really fantastic wines I, that I you like just that can't get artisan. anywhere. I, I really agree. I think for a lot of people um, who are consumers of wine or enthusiasts of wine, they just don't understand something like Charles Shaw Merlot, like what, a million <laughs> cases of this wine versus somebody who is really handcrafting an artisanal approach to winemaking where they're made in very small quantities and really made with love. You know, Absolutely. I like that word artisanal because I think it really speaks to the sense of community that's here and I think this, you know, this event in general also really reflects that where it's a really community-based event, people getting together and opening up some great bottles of wine for a great cause. Absolutely. And you drive into Pismo, you go about five minutes out of town, you can hit some amazing wineries on our wine trail, and then for the most part, you're, you're going to get a chance to meet those winemakers and those owners because they're always there. A lot of them are family-owned businesses, so there's a good chance that you're going to get out and meet the winemaker, maybe do a barrel tasting, yeah. you know, maybe do yep. some cheese pairings, yep. and that's what I think is really special because, you know, you're treated so so individually and and I find that there's a lot of growing regions where there's just you know there's so many people out there we're talking lines. to you Napa we're <laughs> talking to you we're 29 and, traffic jams <laughs> and it's great it's great because yeah. you can get out you can shake the hands of the winemaker mm -hmm. you can hear their personal story and it really is the way that Napa and Sonoma were 30 years ago where it was Absolutely. farmers growing grapes and crafting wine and I think one of the things again that's really unique about this region outside of the smallness and the intimacy is that you're right near the beach folks so if you are somebody if you love to surf and you love wine and come on California that's kind of what we're all about is great food great wine great surf Amen. this is really kind of like the epicenter for that so if you like to surf and you like wine we're at the third annual wine waves and beyond and uh, our beneficiary this year is uh, amp USA which again is just a wonderful organization taking uh, amputees of many of them uh, veterans and teaching them water sports like surfing so it's drinking yes. great wine with great people for a great cause so great. thanks so much Heather cheers, cheers. drink some of this wine uh, yes yeah, absolutely